Hello Guardians, this is Pax. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Aegis, or as many call it, the Shield. The Shield has a variety of helpful abilities in its arsenal. I'll go weakest to strongest attacks damage wise, then I'll explain the ways to use it to its fullest potential. First, you're going to go to Venus on the map. Then, you're going to select the Nexus Strike. Instead of doing the level 14 strike, you're going to select it to be level 320. That way you're going to get the taken version of the strike and it will allow you to use the Aegis at the very end of the strike. Let's get right to it. Once you've fought through the entire strike you will reach the end and you will find the Nexus. You will be able to damage it a little bit before the Aegis spawns. Once the Aegis spawns, pick it up and have a go at it. I'm going to show you the lightest attacks to the strongest attacks. The first attack is going to be more of a slash. It will be the weakest of them all, but it is also the fastest. You will continue moving forward as you slash with this. You can go back and forth, back and forth, so long as you're hitting enemies or you're just trying to travel around the map in a cool fashion. The second attack is actually more of like a shoulder charge attack. It's pretty much three to four times as strong as the original attack and takes down Praetorians in the Vault of Glass pretty quickly. You can even slide and shoulder charge with it. The next attack is actually an aerial smash attack. All you have to do for this is jump up and press the trigger and it will allow you to smash the ground in an area of effect that's just as strong as a shoulder charge. Lastly is the light blast. You will use this to damage enemies or take out the Sec Secreon shield or the Templar shield in the vault of glass. This is the strongest attack out of the shield's arsenal. The next ability is actually the shield. You can use this shield to protect yourself from damage and your teammates. The next ability is not actually an attack or a defense move. It's more of just a movement kind of thing. All you have to do is be in the air and press the bumper. This will allow you to move back and forth or pretty much glide across the map. Now the last ability is also of movement, but it's a little tricky and you can only do it on a warlock so far as I know. Basically what you have to do is press the bumper and the jump button at the same time. What this will allow you to do will make you glide and pretty much titan skate across the ground as a warlock. This is very helpful in the Vault of Glass as when you're doing the Templar challenge you have to prevent him from teleporting. Let me show you. As you can see my character is flying across the ground very quickly and with one movement. You can actually see me messing up a little bit here and not being able to do it, but that's because you have to get the timing just right. You have to simultaneously jump and slash at the same time with the shield in order to fly forward. Now that's all I have to show you tutorial wise for the Aegis. Let's go on to the next part of the video. And that's all for the video Guardians. I hope you found this tutorial helpful in some way. A little bit of lore about the Aegis. After the Titan Kabir's fire team had been scattered, lost, or killed, he continued forward. He found himself among the Gorgon's lair. He used his fists to beat and break the Gorgons, shaping the remains into armor. Marching through the rest of the vault, wearing the Vex's frames, directly taunting the advanced time-traveling race, as if they were nothing more but toys to this vengeful Titan. Finally, Kabir found his way to Atheon facing down the advanced yet ancient machine god. It is my belief that Kabir was void of all fears and doubts in this moment, even as he fell, taking down hordes of precursors and disciples with him, and no doubt leaving his fair share of blows on Atheon himself, showing the Vex that even a single guardian in their weakest moments shine brightly. In Kabir's final moments, he poured all of his remaining light into forging the Aegis, dominating Vex technology and making it his own. Kabir more or less transferred his light into forming this shield like a weapon. I can only imagine how cunning he felt, knowing that even after his life ended, he would continue to be a weapon against the darkness. Thank you guardians for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you enjoy these videos, or what I can do to improve them. Until then, see you later guardians.